We don't provide a solution which automatically translates your C code and auto parallelizes it and runs it on the GPU. There's been lots of research in that area and, and it's interesting. Um, you know, we took a more explicit approach. Just like C is a you know, explicit language, it's what you see is what you get kind of programming. Um, we wanted to provide a solution that was still we wanted to provide a solution that was still explicit. You know, you know wasn't relying on compiler magic to, to auto-parallelize your code. Uh, so one thing the GPU, we knew the GPU was very good at is massively parallel computations, running thousands of pixel computations all at the same time. And when you translate that over to the computing space, that's just simply running lots of threads at the same time, a massive number of threads at the same time. And threading is a model that everyone understands. You know, your basic C programmer understands what a thread is. And in CUDA, we just sort of you know, continue down that path and provide that as a basic primitive. The big difference between you know, doing multi-threading on a CPU and massively threading, massive threading on the GPU is that our GPU architecture is, you know, loves threads. It, it consumes threads, it uses threads to hide all the system latencies and keep everything running at, at max performance. So unlike on a CPU where if you start having four or eight or 16 threads, you know, performance really starts to degrade because of all the thread context switching. Our GPU loves threads and give it, we give it you know, tens of thousands of threads with every kernel execution. And you know, the more the merrier. And I, I encourage programmers to just, just keep pushing the limits and it'll, you know, it, it, it loves it and eats it up and keeps all the, the units busy. From a developer standpoint, that's fine too, because often the problems that they're trying to solve are massively parallel ones. They have lots of data. You know, we just tell them, you know, kick off a thread per data element. It's okay. You can, you know, the GPU can handle it. And actually that's for program model. So it really simplifies their problems down to, okay, you know, what is the unit of work I need to do? I'll create a thread to do that. And I probably have 10,000 of those, you know, different things, you know, parallel work items that I need to do. Just kick it off. So we really try to make it simple, familiar to C programmers, and 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 exposing a, a simple threading model made made total sense for us.